Hey, welcome back. No running content this week, unfortunately. Uh, my calf is still hurting. I uh, haven't done any running this week whatsoever. I did think it was getting better throughout the week. And then I was walking home from work on Wednesday. Same thing again, it just, just went. Very painful, to be fair, when it happened. I've been on my feet all day at work, walking home, and it decided to just go. So, no running content, unfortunately, this week. But I did say uh, I would think of something else to do. And I bought a new pair of trainers for my easy and my long runs because the trainers that I've got at the moment are the Sockney Endorphin Pros, which are a carbon plate shoe, and I'm using it for literally everything. So, not really the right use for it. So, I went out and I bought another shoe, which is the Nike Invincible 2. And I did say, I'll tell you why I got the older version rather than the newer version. And that is because I've heard so many mixed reviews from the, um, the Nike Invincible 3. Some people love it, some people really hate it. And for that reason, a lot of the people who were doing the shoe reviews, Ed Bud, 4D Runs, Ben Parks, there's so many. So many people I've seen that have given reviews on the shoe and uh, on the Invincible 3, sorry that just weren't overly impressed with it. And one thing pretty much all of them said was, just go and stock up on these ones. So that's what I did, this one's on sale. In fact, I was quite lucky because I, I was looking around for them for a little while and every single one that was on sale wasn't in my size. And then all of a sudden, Pro Direct running, I selected it so it only showed my size and this one come up put it in the shopping cart bought it and it was the last pair so i think i'm extremely lucky to get them i love it it's it's a lot chunkier in the sole than i thought it was going to be when i've seen videos and reviews of these shoes they look slimmer but maybe it's because i've got big feet i don't know i'm size 11 but um when i went for my running analysis they did say one foot is almost 11 and a half so you probably want to size up so that's what i did for these i've got 11 and a half i can't wait to get out in these trainers and actually try them out they i've tried them on and i've walked around the house with them and it's it's like you're walking on clouds it's just it's so soft never worn a shoe as soft <laughs> so yeah i'm i am still new to the world of running when it comes to trainers and there's so many out there it's it's a minefield so yeah, went for these ones. The Nike Invincible 2. Is it Nike or Nike? I've always called it Nike, but then I hear people saying Nike and I'm like, I prefer Nike. Nike sounds better to me, but yeah. Nike or Nike? So yeah, Nike Invincible 2s. In the, it's like a nice dark blue with a turquoisey green with the orange sole. It's nice and bright there. The Invincible 3 that I was looking at, they're 170 pounds, which uh, for your everyday person, 170 pounds is quite a lot of money for a, for a shoe. And those ones set me back 107 pounds, which, which isn't bad to be fair. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's not a bad price for the shoe, the amount of shoe that you're getting in within that. As you can probably see in the background, it's his birthday. It was my birthday the other day, so it was actually, people asked me what I was wanting for my birthday. So I asked for running gear or a bit of money so I can go out and get myself a new pair of shoes. So yeah, I did get some money towards my running shoes. My lovely partner went out and she bought me um, some new running shorts. So yeah, I've got some nice new running gear to try out when my legs better. Unfortunately, that is gonna be it for today. Nice short video and we'll see you on the next one.